Today we're talking about non-essential and essential modifiers. Now what is that? John, an old man, ate apples slowly. The guy rowing the boat is my friend. Bree, running for the door, smelled fire. Running for the door describes Bree. Rowing the boat modifies how we think of the guy. John, an old man. Old man modifies John. So if you notice, some of these have commas around them. Some of these don't have commas around them. If they have commas around them, that means it's a non-essential modifier. Basically, you can take it out of the sentence and the sentence still works. If it doesn't have commas around it, that indicates that it's an essential modifier, which means it needs to be in the sentence to make sense. So let's look at some examples of non-essential and essential modifiers. So check this out. Rick, a fancy guy, ate waffles. That's Rick right there. A fancy guy is the modifier surrounded by commas, right? Essential, the guy in the red shirt stole my bag. We're picking out which guy. It's important that we distinguish that it's the red shirt guy and not just some random dude. So if it has commas around it, that means you can take it out of the sentence and the sentence still works. That's the beauty of a non-essential modifier. Rick ate waffles. Yeah, that, that still works. Although that isn't, you know, the, the rich information we had about Rick before, it, it's still Rick ate waffles. We're still good to go. And uh, this one, if we take out the modifier, it changes everything. The guy stole my bag. Well, which guy? It's kind of essential that in the red shirt is included so we know which one it is. Another way to think of non-essential and essential, non-essential is mostly background information that kind of makes the sentence more rich. And essential is more pointing out or choosing which person it is or which thing it is. If it's non-essential, you can take it out of the sentence and it still makes sense, put commas around it. If it's essential, you cannot take it out of the sentence or else it changes everything. So you do not put commas around it. Some things to keep in mind. If it is a that, that makes it essential. Here's an example. The snake that is awake is mine. You do not put commas around this modifier because it has that in it, okay? That kind of links it, it makes it essential. The other thing is just because it's surrounded by commas doesn't mean it's a non-essential modifier. For example, Frankly, I like you and I like fish. Well, if it's non-essential, you can take out the thing surrounded by commas and it's still good to go, just like Rick ate waffles. If we did that, frankly, and I like fish, it doesn't make sense. And the reason it doesn't is because this is not a modifier. Just because it's surrounded by commas doesn't mean that you can take it out of the sentence and that it's a non-essential modifier. Some things to keep in mind. So. Now you know how non-essential and essential modifiers work. These are now fair game on the skill checks. Good luck.